One other thing we failed to mention before our break was that uh, we took the medications when we had vacation because uh, the last place when you travel, you know, things on the park trip across the country, you were out visiting Civil War sites or whatever you are as you make your cross country trip, you don't want to leave your medications in the glove compartment or in the car because of the fact that. Uh, the temperatures can certainly reach 100 degrees. When you open up that car door, you get hit with a blast of heat. Everything is very hot in there. So if you are traveling like that, you might want to keep a little cooler with some foam or so you can get some ice in your motel or hotel or just hang out and put that in your cooler. You know, it's what is it soft water and cool water because it doesn't have to be in the house. I don't know that. You know, I don't know that. It's strong. I don't know that it's soft water and it's really hot. I don't know that it's really hot. I don't know that it's really hot. You know, I really don't care. A little cooler is a good idea. A little cooler is a good idea. And you can buy it. You don't have to bring a big cooler from home. You know, you can go to the store and for a couple of bucks you can buy a small cooler. And just take it with you. One of the things that people think about too is if they use insulin or anything else with a needle, so they can have a carb container, so they can safely dispose of your needles. And yeah, it's hard for them to use brown bottles for a week. They're in brown bottles because light does affect the drug. It will go from that. So you can buy a little brown bottle, it will provide 100% of the medication that very, 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 and every time I have the opportunity to go out and speak to groups, I tell people, don't put your drugs in the medicine cabinet because it's the worst place in the world. Don't do it. So I found that we want to talk about drugs and try to decide, but in a way that I can benefit people. Drugs can actually encourage drugs. Can you make people more susceptible to some some burn some damage? Maybe you can tell us about that. A lot of them are so common. There's lots of common drugs that people take every day and appear to be very innocuous, it's not going to hurt them. And you go out and you cut the grass and you're working in your garden, uh, you go to the beach, and you expose yourself to sunlight, and all of a sudden you feel you're more red than, than usual. And you know, I don't, I don't even stand it, I don't burn, I don't understand what's going on. So there's a bunch of drugs that people take. So have the ability to make you more sensitive to the sun. Common drugs, over the counter drugs that people walk into their, their stores to buy, uh, you know, arthritis medication, ibuprofen, which is most of the the naproxen, which is naproxen, uh, the anaprox. Uh, these are non steroidal medications, and for whatever reason, they make the body more sensitive to. Because it means you burn more quickly than you otherwise would. Yes, you do. You burn more quickly. And, and you'll, you'll turn some people that are sensitive to some uh, anyway, uh, they take these drugs like myself, you turn red as a lobster. And uh, it's, it's because these drugs are taken. And it's just not over the counter medication. Uh, I should point out, we know now that sun damage, but sun is not really good for your skin. 
That's right. Uh, from the days of uh, people uh, trying to do well and going to the beach. Or uh, uh, people sitting at their reflectors. It's really not good for you. And it's going to happen if you're taking a medication to replace it. Yes, it is. Not just because medication, but it's really going to replace it. And if you're not worried about things, it also makes you a whole lot of work. You get lots of work. Lots of work. Tell us about some of the common prescriptions that you can offer today. Well, one prescription does come to mind that is very common in this area because here's what time seems to be. Uh, Lots of people being treated for Lyme disease because of sex, because of what they're talking about. They're saying that the Lyme is not a good thing. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. And so because uh, people are being uh, affected by these sex in the beard, uh, their physicians will put them on a regimen of doxy function. Very effective to uh, take care of the Lyme disease. However, it's a product that really makes you sensitive to the sun. And because of the fact that if you get diagnosed, especially in the summer months with Lyme disease, you're going to be on a regimen for 30 to 60 days. It's almost the whole summer. How do you know uh, how many percent of how long after you take it until you're made by the specialist? Is it for several hours? Or so, so, so you're only asking products that you take once or twice a day. I would wait four or five days. Before you really got to go back to the point of the fact that you took off the session yesterday wasn't the session today. That's exactly what I'm saying. Because we still stay in the body for a longer amount of time. That's why you only have to take them once or twice a day. The body is not eliminated to the patient because the patient is at least involved. And you're still sensitive. You mentioned something about a lot of people. Lots of people are on high blood pressure pills. And some of the side effects of these high blood pressure pills are you get a little bit of water retention. So uh, there's combination products out there that have diuretics in So you take a blood pressure pill and you're doing what you're supposed to be doing every day you take it, your blood pressure is under control, and yet again, all of a sudden, you seem like you're becoming more and more sensitive to the sun. It's the particular work of the side eye diuretic. So that's the HPC Yeah, the that often come in combination with the other part of your blood pressure test that are going to make you more sensitive to the sun. So far after the label for the brand name is always has the ingredients and what needs to look at the ingredients to see what the intelligent combination is. And, and it's important when you get your prescription vial to read the label, not only the prescription label is on it, but the jewelry, the jewelry label that are attached to the vial because it'll tell you that this drug may make you sensitive to the sun, you need to wear uh, sunscreen protection or uh, additional clothing, long sleeve clothing. Can you say more about that? How can people can wear protection about that? When you take these, well, first of all, everybody should use the sunscreen, and especially in the summertime when you're going to be out for a extended period. If you're on these medications that uh, make you sensitive to the sun, it's very important to wear sunscreen. Because the sun is hours, it can be less than a chart on the bottom. Yes. So it says two hours, it's not going to have two hours. That is correct. Right. And then if you can wear sunscreen with a, a rating of 45 on it, uh, that's really the maximum protection that, that, that comes out of the sun. You save yourself for money. Right. 45 and over is all the sun. You can get some extra for the 100. So, yes, yeah, there's no reason to get the 60 or the 100 uh, because it's not going to protect you anymore than what that 45 uh, but it's, uh, it's important to apply the sunscreen liberally before you go out. And if you're going to be out for an extended period because you're on the beach or you are working out and you have a picnic that you're attending, you need to apply that again also. Uh, perhaps uh, an hour or two out uh, uh, from the surface. It's going to come off as well. So, what about 15 seconds left? It's not the way 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 it's have photo sensitivity with the same sensitivity. So you can ask your doctor or your pharmacist. Ask your doctor or your pharmacist, and they will, they will give you the, the right 
Thank you so much for coming on the show and doing my research. Thanks for being here. Welcome back to the Right now, let's take a look at some of the upcoming events sponsored by Donald Trump. 